hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for takes so the last time we tried the cherry OS android 13 based rom on oneplus 6 and i am still using that rom the google has released the new android 13 amazing features implemented in the new android version i was using it from the last few days but now we got the new rise droid version 5.0 android 12 based rom which has some of new android 13 features implemented straight in android 12 and they are working very well Instead of this, today in this video, we'll check what's new has been implemented in the new Rise Droid version, its performance, fixes, and the bugs with my final verdict. So, watch the video till the end. Now, without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. I have given the link of the new Rise Droid version under the video description. If you are on the other ROM, then download the ROM zip file, flash the ROM via TWRP. If you want a TWRP instead of stock recovery, then flash the TWRP via advanced option. Reboot back to the TWRP, then tap wipe and then format the data and reboot to the system. If you are already on the Rise Droid, you will get the OT update notification in the system OTA, download and flash it. So the first change in the new update is the new boot animation. Developer has implemented this nice looking new boot animation of Rise Droid. After completing the setup, we booted to the Sushi Launcher with this new nice looking wallpaper. Let's jump to the about phone. Here you can see this is the new Rise OS version 5.0 with the code name Hello Hello Pixel. Last time we reviewed the old version 4.0. If you tap on the Rise Droid device, this is the same Android 12L with the old Android 12L easter egg. Rise Droid version is Hello Hello Pixel 5.0. Security patch is updated to the latest August 2022. The build date is 1st September 2022. Kernel version is Primus 4.9.258. So it's time to check which Android 13 features were added in this build. The first one is the stack notification on the lock screen. When you guess the bunch of the notification except the first notification, all other notification will be staggered together with only visible icons. Next is the new media cover art for the media notification in notification panel. It also has the new media play pause button. On the home screen, we get the new at a glance, which supports the different on the go notifications similar to the Android 13, like weather, date, time, Bluetooth connected devices, ongoing media playback details, etc. We can enable this setting by long pressing on home screen and under the launcher setting. Except these other major visible changes like bottom shifted power and setting button along with the background running apps is not available here. There is no any copy menu that we found above the keyboard after copying the text. In the new update, developer has added the new customization and the UI changes. Like if you go to the battery setting now similar to the OnePlus Color OS, new battery bar is there with the new battery fill up animation. In the widget section, we guess the new Oxonos 11 weather time and date widget which looks cool. Now let's see some new customization options. Under the status bar, we can see this new show clock background chip toggle, which gives the material color theme to the status bar clock. Next, in the quick setting panel, we get the system info tab, which has the CPU temperature, battery temperature, CPU frequency, GPU utilization options. When you check mark any of these options, we guess their notification at the top of the quick setting panel. In the quick setting panel, now we guess the quick setting panel transparency slider, which gives a stunning look to the quick setting panel. There is another toggle as the quick setting style. After toggling this, we need to restart the system or system UI. This also gives the something different look with the combination of transparent tiles. There are some another advanced options available under the footer tab. There you can get the different toggles to enable or disable the data users running services along with the old user icon settings and the power shortcuts. So these are all the changes we've seen. Now let's check out the stability and the performance related things about the new version. Now ROM is passing safety in a CTS profile check via new update which was failing in the old updates. Now let's check out the numerical results of the Geekbench performance in this update. For the single core I got the score of 497 and for the multi core I got the score of 1856. So these results seem squat down this time, maybe this is because of the CP throttling. Last time these results were like 504 and 2034 respectively. When I tested the GP performance on the open jetters I got the score of 2260 and for Hulkan graphics I got the score of 1940. Except the CPU result graphics results are almost similar to the old build, but still when I use the device with the heavy usage, device seems working very good, no hiccups in the performance and it feels working same as old build. It's fluid and fast with every touch. 
what are the bugs in the rom like the old build still i am facing the hey google issue which is not working and causing the media playback lag but you can use the right side arcade video root method to solve this issue next bug i found regarding for the double tap to wake on the op screen even if you enable the toggle under the system gesture and double tap it is still not working another bug is regarding the touch gesture which is found under the one plus setting it's not opening and causing the force close of setting except this everything is fine and no issues at all this is all about the new version of rise droid 5.0 which has the stable source of android 12 with some important features of android 13 it has other unique features that not even found in Android 13. It has amazing performance that I never seen in any ROM. At this stage, Android 13 ROMs are in early stage, so you can use this ROM as a daily driver. I will now start the battery test video with this new build and will compare this with the another piece Siberia OS. Let's see who will be the winner. Till then, if you think I help you, then please do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.